Welcome back to another substandard video that's not worth even getting five views. Where I'm going to talk about some random stuff that I found interesting. For example, during the State of the Union address, or at the end I should say, Donald Trump refused to shake Nancy Pelosi's hand. Let's take a look. Now, I don't blame him for not wanting to shake her hands because let's be real, her hands are all veiny and bony and gross and it looks like Skeletor, but I wouldn't want to shake his hands either because I don't know whose pussies he's been grabbing, so who knows what kind of stuff he's carrying around on his hands. And he doesn't come across as the kind of guy that uses hand sanitizer. It would smear off all of the uh, orange glow he's got going on. So Trump decides not to shake her hand. Then when the speech was over, she takes her copy of the speech and tears it up in some kind of juvenile tantrum, whatever it was, I don't know. The best is yet to come. Thank you, God bless you, and God bless America. Thank you very much. However, I do think that whole situation could have been made much better. For example, Trump, he goes in for the handshake, yeah, and Pelosi goes for the handshake, and he makes her think it's going to go down. But just before their hands meet, he does one of these things, you know, and then finishes it off with, that would have been brilliant. If that he would have done that, I'd run out and vote for him, and I've never voted for anybody, but if he did that, he'd have my vote in a heartbeat. Now with Nancy Pelosi, I think it would have been so much funnier if she didn't even manage to rip it up. She was just standing back there with her bony, veiny hands, you know, really struggling with the paper, trying to rip it up. <laughs> You, Donald! Yes, that would have been brilliant and so much funnier, but it was still funny the way it happened in its own right. You have two grown adults, elected officials, acting like petulant children. But it's no surprise that they act like petulant children because the people that elected these people, they themselves act like petulant children. And that was on full display during and after the Super Bowl halftime show where the internet was alight with complaints and grievances about Shakira and J-Lo shaking this, doing that, and oh, calamity, they're not singing in English. These are people who don't even listen to these artists and they're complaining that they're not singing in English as if they care about their music at all. Now, I can't speak to what exactly happened during the Super Bowl halftime show because I didn't watch it. I didn't even watch the Super Bowl. But I did see all the buzz on the internet about people having strokes and aneurysms over the performance. How pathetic and lonely and empty does your life have to be in order to find the time to complain about something you saw on television that you just didn't like. It's gotta be pretty bad, I imagine. A lot of this came from the right, specifically the conservative Christian right, who were so upset that their little boys and girls saw Shakira and J-Lo shaking their booties on the TV. One could almost say that they were, they were, ah, oh man. What's that saying? Um, triggered and acting like snowflakes. Of course they were. Because 
being a snowflake isn't exclusive to the left. It's also to the right. There's just different kinds of snowflakes. They get triggered and tantrumed about different things. But because I'm the type of person who tries to get along with everybody, I try to find balance and compromise. I have come up with a suggestion for next year's Super Bowl halftime show. Now, while I doubt it would get very high ratings, it would keep the people on the right quite happy, but of course it would trigger the people on the left or people who call themselves atheists who are really militant about it and just go crazy whenever somebody mentions God or Jesus. I can't share the video because if I do, the video is copyrighted, I'm sure. However, my suggestion, I will link down in the description so you could watch the video for yourself and I think it would be brilliant, at least from a Christian conservative right kind of perspective. Who knows, it might be a huge hit, hell it might even make it to the billboards, top 100, top 10, top 5, maybe even number 1. It is a rather old performance, but older performances, older songs have made some comebacks decades after their release, so who knows, anything can happen. Once you're done with this video, or if you're already bored with this video, go find the link down in the description and tell me what you think. If you don't think it's brilliant, it's probably because you're uncultured and uncivilized. Moving on, the other day I was going through some old photos and I found a baby picture of me and I wanted to share it with all of you. So here it is. Now, I'm sure haters are gonna say, oh, that's so photoshopped. Well, no, it's not. See, I was born in 1983, and Photoshop didn't exist then, therefore, it can't be Photoshopped. Yes, I understand uh, that's kind of a logical fallacy, but let's just go with it, all right? Move on, next thing, what's up? I'll tell you what's up. Uh, it's a bit of a sensitive subject. Um, people have gotten in trouble, big trouble, for talking about it in the past, but I feel like I need to address it to get it off my shoulders, get it off my conscience. It came in front of me, somebody emailed it to me, I saw it with my own eyes, and I feel that it's so important that I share it with everybody, as many people as I can, and this is the best platform for me to do that. And what I'm talking about is, is that somebody emailed me proof that will send Hillary Clinton to prison. Ah! 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 